This is Maxine. When she wrote this blog for us, she had been freelancing and working remotely as a social media manager for well over a year. She learned this skill with no experience. And as she said, I was able to start marketing this service and offer it to other clients. Smart gal. In this video, I share Maxine's smarts about how to be a social media manager with no experience. Check it out. What's up? It is Rowan here from loveworkathome.com where we help you find freedom and work-life balance by sharing information on making extra side income, finding a work from home job or starting an online business. If that sounds good, hit subscribe and smack that bell. That was pretty deep, wasn't it? For a little poindexter like me. Anyway, um, here are the 10 steps that will help you to answer the question, how to be a social media manager with no experience. Number one, identify brands you would like to work with. There are two paths to walk down, but don't worry, if you choose to walk down one, you can still walk down the other at a later date. The first path is broad, general, jack of all trades. The second path is niche, specific, specialized. They say the riches are in the niches, or go an inch wide but a mile deep. In other words, specialize just like Maxine did. She became a kick-ass social media manager in the black hair space because it was a passion of hers. But Maxine also kicked ass in this niche because she had experience and she gained this by starting as a generalist. She would take on any work that came her way. Industry, any clients, any projects, you name it, she'd throw herself at it in an effort to build experience. Because when passion meets experience, well, watch out. My wife is currently studying online to be a coach, but before she started, she was all concerned saying, I don't know what sort of coach I should be, what sort of niche I should service. But her teacher said, don't worry, relax. Time will show you what sort of niche and service and specialization you can get into. You'll get there. So number one, identify some brands you'd like to work with. Are they all in the same niche or niche or are they all over the shop? So do you want to spe or, sorry, generalize before you laser your focus? Number two, reach out to prospects. Oh my God, did you hear that Rowan from Love Work at Home connected with us through Facebook? Bullshit. I'm like so serious. Best day ever. Maxine's advice was to reach out to people via email or social media or even phone if you get the opportunity. You have to be consistent with sharing your services so that people know what you do. Phone is ideal, but email is also okay. On social media, you want to kind of connect with people and encourage the conversation to continue or either via email or via an online chat. Tip number three, build a profile and an audience on your social media accounts. As a social media manager, your socials will form part of your portfolios. And one of your biggest goals is to build Build trust to win clients. Even if you don't have much experience, an active social profile and audience will really stand out. Tip number four, follow fellow social media marketers. Oh, that's a mouthful. A few reasons that it's a good idea to follow accounts and hashtags is the obvious one, you'll pick up tips, tricks, and career development all while getting lost amongst singing dogs, cute cats, and your ex-boyfriend. Another reason to expose yourself to fellow social media marketers is to build up the connections and you know that just has so many more benefits than I care to go into. Number five, get familiar with social media platforms. Let's take me for example. Aside from my blog and YouTube, I'm pretty clueless at the moment when it comes to social media marketing. If you as the freelance social media marketer came to me and explained to me that I should be on, I don't know, for example, LinkedIn and Reddit for reasons X, Y, and Z, which would demonstrate that you know what you're talking about, then I would be impressed, trust levels would rise, and I may just hire you. That's not exactly how it's gonna play out, just so you know, sorry. So get to know the big platforms, some medium platforms, and the up and coming platforms. And also get to know what niches work in or on each of those platforms and why those niches are special and, and work best on those platforms. Number six, use content management systems, CMSs. You're not a freelance social media manager unless you're using one or more CMSs. This is key to how to be a social media manager with no experience. Instead of posting manually, you schedule posts so they're flying out the door and around the world automatically. A couple of examples are Hootsuite and Buffer that allow you to post onto Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn amongst others. Number seven, document your growth. 
Most big social media platforms offer analytics features. Use them to help you observe the engagement on your accounts and understand where you need to focus to make some wins. Oh, and share stats with your clients, but not just the good ones. They'll be happy to know that you've found some areas that really need working on and improving and also to hear that you're working on them right now. Number eight, plan your content strategy. In early 2020, I did a 90 day YouTube challenge where I posted 90 videos in 90 days one every single day. I was only recording four to five a week. Hmm, interesting. How did I do it? With the help of a very makeshift Excel spreadsheet content calendar that I actually started three months before the first video was even published. But being a professional freelance social media manager, you'll be using a tool like contentcal.io or something similar. Number nine, get your graphic skills up to scratch. Don't need to be a pro graphic designer, but the next step in how to be a social media manager with no experience is to learn the basics of graphic design. You're really going to need this, especially if you're using platforms like, you know, the more visual ones like Instagram, for example, you'll need to create posts and a tool like this Canva is a great free graphic design, graphic editing resource offering various dynamic templates to aid you in creating content for social media for all the different platforms. Now, even though tip number 10 is video editing, 11 is photography skills, 12 is learning about sales tools, 13 is subscribing to digital marketing newsletters, and 14 is sharing testimonials, I've gone straight for the jugular, which is home office. Remember Maxine, our freelance social media manager? She said that my ergonomic chair has been a game changer in the way I work as my muscles are more at ease and I'm not lying down in bed, which can be tempting when working from home. We have a stack of articles about setting up your home office, including this one on the best home office setup ideas, which is linked in the description below. I hope you got something out of that video. I can't believe you made it to the end. Well done. If you're not a subscriber already, hit this button here to subscribe to the channel. If you think someone that you know might val um, get some value out of this video, by all means, share it with them. Have a fantastic fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video. Looking forward to it. All right, bye now.